What reason could you and I have to discuss Brenda Barrett? Well, she's here for the time being. You're bound to run into her. Well, not necessarily. Go on. Well, you, I know you think Brenda is strong and confident. That's what she likes to put out. But I, and I'm not saying she's not. But there's another side to her. She's, she's fragile, and she can break very easily. And you were kind of harsh with her last time. Okay, so if you see her again... Well, I'm not gonna see her again. Why not? I was harsh with Miss Barrett last time I saw her because I was put in a situation I have no desire to be in. But, her, look, her intentions were good. She knows I want a relationship with you. She's just trying to help. It didn't work out too well. It man. was awkward, but, uh, look, it's not a, a deal breaker. If you knew the dynamics, you would understand. Uh, I don't need to hear this. Well, you know what? You might even learn something. When I went to Rome to see Brenda, it was, uh, it was just like old times. She felt it, I felt it. Then she told me that uh, she was engaged. She was gonna get married. So she, she said, go back home and deal with your life. And lo and behold, you, you, you look up and there's Brenda Barrett? Literally. I had taken Claire to the island. We, were, we had a great time. I did what Brenda wanted to move on. I dropped Claire off, went into my living room, and there's Brenda. Now, I thought, great. You know, she wants to try again. She just needs a little convincing. So she tells me that she's there because she doesn't, you know, she doesn't want to see me anymore. Classic Brenda. I know she wanted more. Oh, of course, I mean, what woman can resist you? <laughs> Maybe she was dis, you know, she knew I was disappointed and wanted to give me something good in my life, and that would be you. Well, it's a generous thought, but I don't see much for the practicality or probability of success. Well, you know what, Dante? I'm never, I'm never going to stop hoping that we could be a family one day. But in the meantime, I know Brenda's gonna reach out to you and because she's very stubborn and, she, you know, when she wants something. Like uh, bringing us together as father and son? Something like that. I'm just asking you as a favor. Be nice. This is I don't plan on ha having a lot of contact with Miss Barrett, but if I do see her on the street, I will be polite. Is, is that good enough? Well, if I suppose that that's good enough for I, you. I, that's I, I, what do you want from me? I want son? you to make Brenda's life easy. She's, you know, her home is poor Charles. I just want her to feel comfortable here. All right, that's good. That's what you want then? You know what? It kills me that I can't be with her. That I'm close to her. I can't reach out. I've always had a connection. And I know when something starts so hot, it burns out quick, but not with, not with Brenda. It's always been like we break up, get back together, and it was always the same. And it's always going to be like that. So. Yeah, Falconer. I need you in my office, ASAP. All right, look, if this is about the background check on Brenda Barrett, I... Something else. It's important. One more. So I'm uh, digging deeper in Brenda's movements from 2003 to the present. Well, what do you mean? I thought you, were... you already gave me the information. Well, not really. I mean, I gave you the boilerplate where she lived, where she traveled to, the fact that she's always paid her taxes on time. Except that's not what you're interested in. You are more interested in who she's ever been involved with, right? You want to see if there's someone that could potentially take her away from Sonny? Look, I'm not proud of the fact that I'm poking around the past of someone who could be considered romantic competition. Look, others have bent the rules for way less. Anyway, according to Sonny, he and Brenda are no more, at least for the time being. Well, then you got nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm a fed and he's a monster. There's always something to worry about. Enough about Sonny. Let's get to the matter at hand. I want to discuss police protection for Brenda. My... Yeah, you know, Jason is uh, more than capable of uh, taking care Jax of Jax doesn't think so, and he has a point. 
Jason's life revolves around violence. Brenda can easily end up a casualty in a completely unrelated incident. And I would like to keep Brenda safe for my own reasons. Uh, what are, what are, what are those reasons? Well, if something happened to her, Sonny's guilt would be off the charts, and that would definitely kill anything that we have going on. Whoa. Right? Okay. Well, then why don't you talk to Ronnie, and then from now on you can just no, go through I'm him No, I'm pulling for this. rank on this. I want you. No. What? I have way too much on my plate. Not anymore. I'm taking you off the Zakara car bomb. I'm going to reassign another investigator. Okay. <laughs> So what's the problem here? I thought this is what you wanted. Uh, yeah, I did. I, uh, but I wanted to be reassigned because of conflict of interest. It's not, not, not to up free up me up so debate. I can babysit somebody. Not up for debate. As of right now, you are officially Brenda's bodyguard. 